In this video, we'll import a floor plan of one room, model the room, paint it, and bring in some furniture for space planning. You can drag a picture right into the workspace. It comes in with the scale tool around it, but what I'm going to do is scale it from this door, and I'm going to make this doorway three feet. Click on the tape measure, hit the control key to put it into scaling mode, click here and here, type three foot symbol, enter, yes, and the whole drawing has now scaled to that three foot doorway. I am going to rotate this. I press down the right arrow key on the keyboard to get the red axis orientation. Click, click, click again, and now it's in the position that I want. Let's trace this. We'll inference that endpoint and close it off. Go to View, Face Style, X-Ray, so that we can see through it. Then click on Offset, and let's offset this 6 inches. Push, pull it up 8 feet, and we can turn off the x-ray now. Let's draw this door now. First, we'll draw a 7 foot high construction line for the door head. Click here, drag it straight up, type 7 feet. Then take the three-point rectangle and click here, here, and type three feet. Then push-pull, click on the back edge and let go, and here's the doorway into that room. I don't need the guideline, so I'll select and delete it. Click three times to select the whole room. Right click and make it a group. I'm going to put a tray ceiling on here now and, and I don't want it to stick to this floor plan. Trace the walls. Let's draw some guidelines, find the center, this way, and that way. And let's center this rectangle on this intersection. I don't need this line, so I'll delete it. And I don't need these lines anymore. Double click to select that rectangle. Then click on Move. Hold the Alt key down and then move this straight up and you get this roof shape. What I'm going to do now is triple click to select it all, 
right click and make it a group. I want to put the roof on its own tag, formerly known as a layer. So I'll click the plus sign to make a new tag, call it roof, and then I'll select it, go to Entity Info, and put it on the roof. This I'm going to make a tag for, and I'll call it Walls. And then I'll put it on the Walls tag. That just helps with organizing. For example, I can turn the roof off now, which makes it easier to see inside and work. Double click to open the group and let's throw some paint on there. Well, you know what? We forgot the window. There's a window here. We don't need her. Let me delete her. Let's put a window here. Open the group. And draw a window. Then push pull it through. Now let's throw some paint on this. Note that the group is still open. Click on the paintbrush. And we've got a bunch of folders to choose from. You can also bring in your own. There's tile. Here, that mid-century modern tile is rather popular now. If I click on edit, I can change the scale. Back to select. Let's choose a color. How about aqua? All right, let's close the group. Why don't we copy this? Click on move, hold the control key down, and we can see a space plan. Let's go to components and see what we can find. Here's a sampler. Why don't we drag this bed in? This is a dynamic component. You can tell from this symbol Here's the dynamic component toolbar, which I have open. If you click on the hand, we can see what it does. There, there's a smaller bed. We can also go to the warehouse and do a search for a desk and chair. That looks a little big for our purposes. Why don't we see what else is there? And I'll download it. That looks more like a size I want. When you download it and click it in place, you'll see these little crosses, and that means you can rotate it. Let's turn the roof back on and look inside.